Hey guys and welcome back. Carbon here with VFA 105 and in today's video we're going to go over uh, on speed angle of attack or AOA. I was going to go ahead and do a case one video right now but I figured we'd knock this uh, fundamental concept out of the way first uh, without having to worry about explaining it on the downwind of the carrier. So we'll get started here. I have my controls indicator located right here at the bottom left and the mission is an active pause. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw my hook down for now. So the reason we use on speed AOA is to provide an optimal angle for the hook to catch a wire on the ship and also it allows us to eliminate one axis completely from our landing which is pitch. Uh, pitch will be managed by throttle. Our speed we don't have to worry about because we'll be trimmed to on speed so our uh, speed is taken care of there. And we just have roll left, which we'll also have to trim for a little bit and then use the stick for. Uh, so I'll go ahead and unpause this now and we'll get started. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just send our uh, airspeed here uh, to about 250 knots. Then we'll drop the gear and we'll drop our flaps as well. Uh, when we drop our flaps, the aircraft will balloon because we're getting a ton of lift and our speed will rapidly decrease. We'll go ahead and counter that by giving a little bit of nose uh, down authority in the stick and that'll kind of counteract the ballooning effect. So I'm just going to deploy the uh, speed brakes. Uh, once we drop our flaps, the speed brakes will automatically retract. All right, gear down. And flaps down. And now you see we start ballooning up. So we're just going to give a little nose forward until our speed starts dropping. Now we'll start releasing our stick, adding throttle. and we're just given a nose up trim right. All right, now we are on speed and all I'm using for our elevation, our pitch, you could say, is just throttle uh, input. Like I said, we don't really have to worry about speed because we are on speed um, given our angle of attack. And like I said, all we now have to worry about is uh, throttle for pitch and then our stick for roll, as you can see in our controls indicator. Um, one thing to point out that's pretty important is when you're turning into base, you're gonna wanna, if you're flying level or so, right? We'll get it right now. For flying level, you're gonna wanna add a little bit more throttle before you turn, otherwise your aircraft is going to uh, drop the nose and I'll, I'll demonstrate for you real quick All right now we're gonna go turn Increase throttle and now our nose is dropping quite a bit. So we're gonna try to catch it And we're just playing catch up at this point Whereas, we'll roll out real quick. Whereas we're flying a long level, increase power, then roll. And we stay a lot more level, and then we can uh, retard our throttle a little bit to get under. So we're slightly descending. We want to be about 500, I believe per minute and then the same concept also applies when you roll out you want to decrease throttle roll out and then catch increase throttle and we still maintain let's go ahead and demonstrate if we don't do that so we're holding our attitude now and then we roll out oh we're going up we don't want that so that's just a little quick concept. There's a uh, there's a lot better videos out there that can probably explain it better than I have. But my hope is that maybe something I said actually clicks with you, and I was the silver bullet 
but the, like I said, there are a lot better videos that will uh, explain it more in depth. A um, little disclosure, I don't claim to be the best or anything. I'm just good enough to actually do what I need to do. Um, so if this video helped you in any way, or if it didn't, please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, go ahead and comment. And we'll try to get your comments in a reasonable amount of time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.